Hello, YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of City Skylines. Now, I do want to go ahead and apologize. I meant to have an episode of this on Sunday, but as many of you know, I was sick again. But I'm feeling quite a bit better today. Uh, now, there probably is going to be some jump cuts here and there. Uh, my body's still coughing a lot, but other than that, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I, I think I sound better, so uh, we're good to go here. Now, I was able to go here and play a little bit, and if you recall last episode, we installed our little uh, cargo station here. Now, the road around it was not big enough to handle the traffic, and I had two uh, landfills right here, right in front of it, so I couldn't do anything with the road. So, we've changed that. I've gotten rid of the landfills. I've now turned this whole outer ring of, which is now industrial lane, into a one-way. And this has really helped traffic flow. We're not getting these huge backups here. You see a little bit of a backup right here, but this is not what was happening earlier. And they're cruising right in. They're getting to the station. The train comes by. They'll back up a little bit, but it is definitely much smoother. And also, our money intake is so much bigger now. We're, we're making quite a bit. So I've got some plans here. Now, another thing we've talked about, we need to go green. And we started a wind farm. And as you can see, it is actually doubled in size. And I'm going to continue to add to this. I want to eventually go almost completely green. Now, I know our industrial section can't switch over right now. It's going to stay nasty. Uh, I think eventually you can unlock a little bit more higher tech industrial and it produces less pollution. So, for the time being, this is going to have to stay. Now, that doesn't mean we can't start kind of going green here. And one of the first things I want to add... I hate these landfills. They're already filling up and we're going to have a trash problem real soon. But we can now afford a large recycling center. And this should take off some of the uh, load here. Now, it's not going to take off all of it. And I've got to see where I can stick this. I don't know why it won't let me stick it here on the end. I, I had the perfect spot here and it's like, nope. Actually, I think it's because the road's at an angle. Okay. That's odd. I mean, I could stick it up here on the side. I don't think it really matters either way. I think eventually we're going to have to stack these things, so let's stick this one, let's go about right here. So they're going to start going out, collecting, uh, that is definitely our first step in our green energy, or I guess, I don't want to say energy, it's not producing energy, but it's just going green. Now we do have a high demand in residential right now, and I've started a new neighborhood on the other side of Sheffield Square. Now the intent of this neighborhood is to be a little bit more spaced out. Uh, maybe a little more higher class. Uh, I've got the little education center here, and I think behind it, I'm going to add maybe some nice amenities, like maybe a tennis club, uh, just something that's going to attract maybe a higher class of people. I, I don't mean to sound—I don't mean to sound like snooty about that, but I want nice houses out here. That's why I have the streets with the trees lined up and down them. Uh, we're going to do that. Now I know it's not using the land appropriately, and we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a sec. I'm going to go ahead and just zone these. Uh, the only bad thing, we're going to have to watch what's going to happen with electricity here, because... Uh, I've got, well, actually, I have some power poles right over there, so that should be okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to try to attract some houses here. We'll probably have to build a nice park, a nice little center. I don't think I'm going to put them... You know, I probably could actually stick them along the road here, since it's off the main road over here to the left. So we might actually stick them up against that. But yeah, they're really close to the school. Nice area. Sheffield Square, while being nice, there is some scattered parks in there. It's really compact. And that end road is kind of bugging me because it is not straight at all. Yeah, I'll probably just run a road across. I'm just looking how I'm going to do that. So I'll be able to fix that. Now, we've talked a little bit about the uh, big city. Well, I'm going to let them uh, develop out here. Uh, we've talked about the big city. And... I did some more testing, and I realized that our infrastructure is not ready for high-density uh, buildings at all. That's why I'm starting this, and that's why this is going to grow to be really, really huge. Because I'm going to ne need to be able to somewhat support a big city on those. Now, I'm going to keep some of my other power plants, because wind farms just are not going to get it done. But I need to probably also move this out. Now, if you guys have any suggestions, I'm looking for junctions. I've found a couple on the workshop. I need something better than this. I need something that is not going to get clogged up. The problem I have here, if I extend this highway out and start a, like a dense residential or dense uh, offices or anything, we run into the issue of the traffic flow around here. It gets backed up because people coming on this side of the highway to get over to this side are going to have to exit off and take the roundabout. 
which creates an absolute backup on the highway. I did some testing and I reset and realized, you know, we're not ready for Big City yet. Even though we have the university and I feel like we could, you know, get away with building some offices, but we're going to hold on that for now. I need to get this side in order first, so that's going to include building... Um, here we go. I knew this was going to happen. Uh, let's send them electricity here. I guess I should have just grid it, you know, street by street to get them to build and then spread the electricity that way, but it's just kind of a pain in the butt. But anyways, I'm going to let them build up back here, but... Yeah, I just don't think we're ready for the big city yet. I also think it might need to be a little further off the highway, so I'm not going to really worry about that right now. I'm going to keep this a little more simple, and I'm not going to really talk about it anymore because I've done a lot of talking about big city, and we haven't actually gotten around to it. I feel like we need to just grow our infrastructure now. So, okay, we're building. Actually, we're building houses over here. Those are fairly nice. So what we're going to do, and uh, let me find one. I've downloaded several things here. Actually, what is that? Oh, that's a neighborhood pool. I downloaded that. That's actually kind of nice. That would be... That would be kind of nice near the school there. Maybe I could stick that towards the back. Uh, I've got several things here. I'm looking for... Hmm. What I actually want to stick down. Here's the uh, tennis club I was talking about. That feels like... That would be... That would work pretty good. I wish I had, like, a golf course. I don't know... I don't think I've seen any of those in the workshop. I'm sure there is some on there. Uh, that would be really nice back here. We're going to stick the tennis club back here. Of course, I don't think it's really... And that rain is just absolutely covering it right now. But yeah, I don't think it's... It's not really affecting those people over there because it's kind of out of range. But I think once they grow this way, it'll help the houses. And really, just out of range again. So let's go ahead and do that as a temporary fix. I guess I could add a uh, ball field for the schools over here. Or some sort of... I've got a baseball field at the other little school center over over here which that looks nice but I feel like we need another one so let's see what do I want to add here I want to say oh, in the completely yeah I'm in the complete wrong section here We've got basketball courts that's uh that's fairly nice um yeah I would have wish I would have downloaded maybe a football field or something Hmm, what do I want to place here it feels like there should be maybe a gymnasium it makes sense here uh, let's go ahead and place one of those back here, too. Actually, I don't want to stick it too close to the tennis club. I feel like it should be a little more attached to the school itself. I don't... No, I don't think it looks good there in the center. I'm going to stick it a little down from here. So we got several things there. I kind of wish they would hurry up and start to start expanding this way. I mean, there's demand for residential, but for some reason they decided to build on the last street possible. So I'm hoping they're going to start spreading this way. So I'm going to let them do that real quick. And I'm going to go over here and kind of worry about what's happening commercial-wise. I'm getting some uh, demand here. Now, they're building down this main street. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Like, I feel like there there is a big gap in between. Say, if I let them build down this one here. So, I mean, I can continue with the low-density commercial. I can let them come down maybe to here. Let's try to even these up. We'll give them these new zones. And then if I want to do some cross streets, I can do that. But uh, these main roads are actually working right now. We're not having near the traffic issues. Even out here, we had a major stack up, which we've got one right now at the light. Uh, but once that goes green, we should be good to go. I've uh, upgraded this whole road here, too. Uh, this used to be just a boulevard, and now it's a six lane. All right, I'm giving the industrial area a little bit more zoning here. I understand it's a little close to the water. Uh, it's actually probably no closer than this little section in front of the uh, in front of the recycling centers. Now I have also added a small recycling center here. I want to continue to keep with this uh, input or output of uh, garbage that the city's given us right now, and I notice that our landfills are full here. I want to get rid of these, but I know I'm not quite to that point, and I'm trying to just monitor our garbage situation and see how much we can keep up. So I'm going to continue to monitor that, but we've got our little green initiative going on here. Now also, a reason I didn't, some people are probably going to see this big gap here, I didn't give the, the uh, industrial area this zone here. I need to keep this road flowing, so I'm not going to put any cross streets. I used to have a major cross street right here. And this traffic uh, coming into the rail station would circle around and go straight to that cross street and clog up this intersection. Now that I'm forcing them to use the one way, uh, the only way to get over is this cross street over here, 
which isn't too bad because it doesn't affect the roundabout. As you can see, the roundabout is doing fine. It's not backed up out to the highway like it was. Now, I'm looking at this commercial traffic. It's kind of, it's a little intense. I wouldn't say it's that bad. They're actually using, yeah, they're actually using all the lanes, which is surprising. That and the fact that a lot of these are parked cars, too, so we're okay over there. Now, let's see. Let's check our neighborhood out here. What are we doing? Okay, we are growing finally out here. They're going to start using these streets. I'm going to try to make this as nice as possible. Of course, we got our tennis club over here. I'm trying to think what else we can add. Give it some flair. Uh, are we good on electricity here? Do we need those power poles? Let's see. We're about to test it out here. I think we need the one that's on the street here. But I think that's it. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, do that. I want to add probably also a park back here too. And then I can kind of decorate around it. I'm not going to do what I did in the city where it's like basically a full-blown... I wouldn't say central park, but it's it's a fairly big park. I, they just need something small here. I could... I mean, normally by tennis centers, you'd have like a public pool. And I've got a nice one here that I downloaded. Let's, uh, let's look at it real quick. That does not look like a public pool at all. There is something wrong with that asset there because that is not... Okay, well, we're gonna get a refund for that. Uh, we just lost a little bit of money there. Strange note to self, don't use that one. Hmm, and it's really nice looking too. I need to find another one. Uh, what else do we have? We need to find another thing to put in here. We might just put a normal park in. Uh, let's see... Small park. Small park really isn't that small. Actually, that is probably the perfect size. It kind of complements the tennis club right beside it. So there we go. Got that. People now have things to do around here. Probably going to place some trees and all that around here because it looks a little bare. I might save that for later and just kind of shove trees in between all this. Now, we still have a high residential demand and I'm thinking about adding a street to Cozy District here too. I'm going to start to kind of tightly pack in people here. And what kind of street are we using, by the way? I think we're just using a standard one-way, which, huh, figure we were using bigger than that. Let's see, that should cover that. And is that street at an angle? No, it isn't. So I should be able to run up like this, which I might have overshot it a bit there. Uh, let's go ahead and let it go further. And we'll put this cross street here. We can get rid of the excess here. I feel like I still want to keep this gap, but I can go ahead and give them some more room here to build because our residential demand is really high and I, I'm not quite comfortable going with high density yet. Uh, I want to save that for maybe the outskirts of the big city, which I still think is going to be on the other side, but I don't want to actually dive into that yet. I'm going to do kind of what I did this episode, uh, do some work in between on infrastructure and try to strengthen it and then I'm thinking very soon we can start uh, placing some big buildings but I do need some suggestions from you guys about how we want to handle that and also some suggestions for my highway that's the, that's my main concern because the moment you hit that snag because you're gonna have so much traffic coming in to the other side that's that's a scary moment so I need to watch that uh, but anyways yeah, I've got that just opened up a street and they're already filling it up there's such a high demand to move to the city which is good I means our education system, we've got nice parks, we've got places to bury the dead, which... How's that run in here? That's... We're getting close. I don't know what happens when we fill a cemetery. I mean, you can empty it, which is kind of weird, but... I, I like where they're at. I mean, they look kind of nice, but I feel like we're going to still keep... Well, I guess that's going to be okay, because we're going to still keep that grass strip there. Even if commercial grows a little further out, which I don't know how much more demand we're going to have for that. Oh, I do apologize. Uh, I had a another coughing fit, and I left my computer. I left everything running, and well, I don't see any harm done. Uh, we've actually gained population. Uh, uh, I do apologize for that. It's it's been kind of a rough couple days, but uh, one thing I did real quick. Uh, I'm doing a little test here with a district, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. I've separated this commercial district down. I accidentally made a boo boo uh, while separating them. And I'm going to try to attract some sort of leisure uh, commercial here to see if I can try to, I don't know, up the fun factor here. Because our commercial is kind of lacking. Now, I might still do some cross streets here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll just see how it develops. Another thing I feel like we're going to do, and we keep getting spikes in residential demand. Of course, we have Kent Square or Kent Hills out here that 
they're not filling up the streets quite like I pictured they would. Uh, they're getting there, but I'm gonna go ahead and zone off probably uh, right across the street from Cozy District, and I think we're gonna fill this area. I, talk, I might have talked about it a little bit, and I think it's time to kind of commit to it uh, since I haven't started the big city. Now, I, I do, the more I think about it, the more probably buying this section back here makes sense next. Because I get such industrial demands that I, I don't want to do this big, thick factory thing all the way up the coast. So I think this land out here would be good for farms, and I can try to limit them to that uh, once I can get out there and build that. But anyways, let's go ahead. Um, let's see, what are we using? We're using avenues here. Let's uh, extend an avenue out. Probably right here. This is actually going to be a little bit of a major project here. So I'm not really sure how I want to shape this. Let's go out to about there. I, I don't want it to interrupt with uh, Kent Hills over here since that's a smaller neighborhood. And I feel like maybe we should actually curve this one back. This uh, this avenue over here leading from the con commercial district. Is that going to connect right? Is that going to... Does that look right? Let's see what that intersection looks like. No, oh, that looks okay. That should be fine. Uh, we might have to upgrade that road depending on what kind of traffic we get going down it. Uh, let's see. If I to go across... No, I can't really go across too much further. I'm thinking... Let me just send that right there. That way I can make this a perfect square here. And when I say perfect square, I mean the... Probably one of the most crooked roads I've done. Okay. Let's, uh, let's correct that. Let's do it from this side. And actually, no, I need to do it from that side. That way I can make sure I get on that avenue there, so... I don't know. I don't know if it's just the thing, or... Oh, there it goes. Okay, so now we've got a straight road. So I've got this little square, or this little block here. Now, without interrupting this avenue traffic, or this big six lane, I don't want to send the cross streets across, so I'm going to leave them a little off it. But, I think I'm going to follow somewhat of the same... same style. You know, we might actually do the street with trees here. I try to make it nice. I'm going to... I'm going to pack them in pretty tight here, but I might try to vary the actual streets up. We've got a big street that goes around it. So, I don't know. Let's change it up. I'm trying to get where I don't have a gap here. Hmm. Is that not possible? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the non-gap. So, if I were to do something like... We're going to do something just kind of out of the... Way. I'm going to say out of the ordinary. I'm, I'm looking at what I'm doing here, and I'm, I'm actually starting to question myself, but... I don't need to do that. Let's just, um, we're going to do something a little different here. So, let's cut, let's cut you this way. I don't want the gap. There we go. So, you need to go here, connected there. That leaves an odd little gap there. Maybe the, maybe I could stick a park or something there. But yeah, we're going to change it up. Uh, we're going to completely switch. Let's see, that creates an intersection there, which I feel like, you know, I could get rid of that. With the tool, I mean, traffic, there is no crashes, so maybe just make that like a... I don't even know if you want to call it a stoplight, uh, but we're going to do that. Uh, let's see, we're going to... I want to make a street come back this way. Uh, I'm going to try to make a pattern here. I haven't really done much design work. Uh, this still isn't in the same design work as in like, oh, we're going to have this really unique... Hmm, does that work? It's a really weird square. That actually doesn't look bad. Uh, it's not going to be... Ooh, I, no, I can do a park here. I, I, sorry, for, I'm almost interrupting myself because I get really excited when I see something that, you know, like an idea pops in my head. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I could be doing this. Let's do that. That doesn't look bad. There's not too many... Uh, not too many exits here. There's not too many uh, blockage. Now, we've added a new stoplight to this avenue or the sixth lane, and I think it's going to be okay. I don't know. It's, it's such a long stretch of road. Uh... Most looks like most of our traffic's either like uh, VW bugs, and then it looks like I've had a couple garbage truck trucks pass by. What do we have parks wise? Uh, what's what's a big park? Well, what do we have big park? Large playground. I feel like maybe we could split the center area since we've got this gap. I feel like half of this could be a park. Is that is that an even gap? No, man. These parks, they're not even. I'm off by one block. Do I have an even one here? Ooh, that one fits. Perfectly. Haven't we? We've used that though too many times. I feel like I really need to go download some more parks. We could put something like fancy, like a Japanese garden, or or even one of these uh, other ones. Um, uh, I'm gonna question myself what I'm doing here. What's this park? That's a small park. That's the small park. Doesn't line up. This park doesn't leave an even gap. I'm looking for something that leaves an even gap. This a uh, big one fits in there perfectly. The one with the trees. 
It could stack two side by side. I guess it really, you know, the more I think about it, the more it doesn't matter if it fits perfectly because I'm able to blend in. So say if I were to do a park right there. Let's see, what do we got? What are we working with here? Let's get the zones away. Okay, it does look like dirt paths. So we're gonna connect to the street here. Uh, connect to the street here. So that's your, you've got one, two, three entrances to the park. I know we, we don't have, uh, yeah, we do have water. We don't have electricity. So I need to get electricity over there real quick. Um, which way is gonna look the least ugly? Yeah, it really sucks not having, I wish you could run underground lines. I don't know, there could be a mod for that. That would be actually really nice. Uh, you know, we're gonna, it's gonna be unpowered just for a second. Let's go ahead. Let's allow some people to build here. And I can always wreck some people's houses whenever I'm, you know, ready to go in there and really start to uh, dig in and do some stuff here. This ought to add quite a bit. So you've got that. Uh, we could stack another thing up behind this park-wise. could use a nice plaza, but I feel like a plaza is more for, like, bigger city things. Let's see, we've got a dog park. I really like to use like the bounce house. The bounce house has just got such an odd size to it though. It's like you have it takes up one block, yet the park itself takes up so many and it's just it looks odd. Uh, I've got that. Let's see. We can stack a small playground up on one side. Is that I think it uses gravel paths too, so it should blend in fairly nice. Let's go ahead and put a gap there. So got those. Uh, we'll be able to blend in. It's, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time, let it uh, switch around a day that way I can see and we'll try to blend in some of these things and see what houses develop around it You know just when I was hoping for a nice day to be able to like actually see it, it's pouring down rain So we're gonna have to do this uh, a, little, a little bit old school here. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna connect these paths. I want to connect these two parks actually. Can I do that? Uh, it might be too steep of a turn there. Can you do that? Can we have paths go out of this thing? I'm sure we can, but it's acting like we can't. This is like the one park, which maybe it's not a possibility with this park to actually have paths come out of it. It's kind of weird, but it's okay. We'll uh, we'll stretch around it. We're gonna send a uh, central path, probably down here. Let's do a straight path actually, and then we'll branch off and we'll finish up. So we'll come out, connect to the street here and connect the street on this other side. This looks nice because I use the uh, the streets with the trees on it. And actually we could fit one more little park here. Uh, let's go ahead and stick. What kind of trees are these? I'm always, I'm always a little unsure. I gotta make sure I wanna match the trees. That looks like a couple of them. It should vary it up just a bit. Let's go ahead and stick a couple of these here. Uh, let's go ahead and go with a couple different sizes here. Keeps like, it's like it's doing the same tree. It's not switching, there it goes. There we go. Put those. I've got room for one more little park here, so... I think stick another dog park in. Those are actually kind of nice. So stick that one right there. So there we go. we got a cluster of parks. This ought to be... This is going to be really good for them. This ought to really, hopefully, encourage people to move out here. Uh, Transportation is going to be a thing soon. Uh, I'm, I've experimented a little bit with the uh, taxi cabs, so we're going to need to figure that out, but... You know, I actually like the way the street looks. I mean, you've got the big avenue around it. You've got the one way or two ways into the center. And water not going that far? Nope, it's not. Let's go ahead and cover. You know, I really could just connect these pipes. Uh, will it do it? Uh, try to save space. Can I hit reach it? There we go. That's efficient use of pipes right there. So I've got that. Um, can I stick something? I really need to download some custom assets here and see what else I can stick. Like, I like like a library, and I, I can't believe there's not one, I guess, in the default game. I've got a new high school, which, ooh, high school availability has gone down. Okay, there's two ways to fix that real quick. Uh, let's check our budget panel. Hmm. Are we spending enough on education? Let's bump this up. Let's just max that out. We've got the funds to do it. We're making the money. Let's see if that helps cover. I'm pretty sure it's the elementary schools that they're not able to... Yeah, they're probably cramming. Yeah, I mean, that one's almost filled to the brim. It's kind of weird having to build this many elementary schools. I've got... Oh, this neighborhood's already confusing me. That one's basically filled to the brim. We need another elementary school, so it's almost like this area over here is going to get another little private school. Which, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, I could use the rest of this as like a little education 
thing. And that, that school fits perfectly right there. Hmm. Tempted to do that. What does the high school look like? High school fits there too. You know what? We're gonna do that. We're gonna use this other style of high school. I know it doesn't fit as many. It's not as, you know, full, but I, I like the style. We're gonna stick another elementary school here and we'll stick something else on the other side. Maybe I can go download like a library or something. Does that have a path that actually goes out? It Okay, this school kind of turned me around a little bit. You know, this actually looks like a school in my town. Uh, we have a couple really old style schools. This looks exactly like one of them. That kind of looks like a pedestrian path behind it. Is that what that is? Do I need to be connecting here? I believe so. Is that no? Is it? It kind of looks like it connects. I'm going to go ahead and put that little path there. I don't really... It's kind of a odd backing. I think maybe that's for a parking lot, which maybe I can download one of those. But I've got that. That's going. This neighborhood should flourish around it. They're going to absolutely go. And that actually... That's probably one of my first design streets, and that actually looks really good. I'm happy with that. It might not make the most sense. We're getting a bit of a jam here. I'm looking at it right now, but it's not bad. I mean, it's just how fast the light can let them in and out. So I've got that. Like I said, we're going to buy this back half here. I'm going to put some farms back here because I need to fix this industrial demand, but I really, like, I know this is going to have to get bigger, and we might have to do a different section somewhere else. But I really don't want to use it up too much. So I've got a nice gap here from Kent Hills and their little fancy school area, which I need to fix that pool. Uh, and I've got this little, I don't know what we want to call this. I guess I should go ahead and dis district this out real quick. And then we're probably going to call it a day here. Let's go ahead surround that. I hate that tool. You know what? Coal Ridge Park. I kind of like that. That actually sounds nice. I'm okay with that. Alright, let's do that. Let's do our smoke detector, recycling, parks, recreation, educational boost. I mean, they got a, they're literally, they have their own little school there. Uh, I don't need to do any tax breaks for them. You know what? I guess we can encourage biking. Uh, let's try that. Something new. Anyways, we've got this going here. We're gonna let that neighborhood grow up. I did, like I said, I, I don't know if I was coughing at the time. I separated these two districts out here, so you've got the commercial here. And you've got like a leisure one, which some leisure is popping up. That looks like almost like a club or it's called the game station. So I want to try to give them something fun to do here in town. And hopefully that will really settle out. Uh, we've already started, like I said, our green initiative here. We've got our two recycling centers. We'll probably add another one here very soon because uh, these landfills are filling up. Actually, let's take a quick peek at that. Yeah, our usage, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and stick one more in here real quick. Or I could save up for the big, you know, let's just stick a small one. So get that taken care of. We'll eventually start to empty these out, get that all good to go here. Of course, got our wind farm, we're going to grow that. We're going to be green, this is going to be nice. I feel like before we move to big city status, we need to take care of what we have here, and I feel like we're doing good here, especially at the start of this neighborhood. I could extend, I just like this little square, I don't think I really want to extend that out too much. We might do another one, maybe over here to the left. I don't want to really fill in this gap to the right because it's more just normal neighborhoods. But anyways, guys, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think we've got quite a bit accomplished here. Got a lot to look forward to here. I uh, do appreciate you being patient with me right now with my uh, my voice and me uh, all the jump cuts that are probably going to be in this video. But anyways, guys, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.